This is journalist Jen Dyes back to raise major alarm bells for all Americans. This is as terrifying as it is urgent. I'd be amiss if I didn't emphasize and re-emphasize this. Recent polls show that if the 2024 election were held today, Donald Trump would defeat President Joe Biden. Let's confront the gravity of that possibility. Donald Trump has not been shy about laying out a blueprint for a fascist America should he be reelected. He's laid it out with chilling clarity. This isn't hyperbole. This is a man with an enemies list ready to use the highest office in the land to settle scores with those he doesn't like or who stand in the way of his desired fascistic rule. Let's dissect his blueprint. Trump has called for the termination of the United States Constitution, advocated for extrajudicial killings, a sanitized way of saying murder, called for the execution of General Milley as just one example said that shoplifters should be met with lethal force, proposed to muzzle the press that opposes him, made violent political rhetoric his norm, where threats and intimidation are just the opening act to actual political violence, vowed a purge of disloyal government officials, asserted that there are fine people on both sides, with one side being neo-Nazis. And we can't forget he has already led an insurrection, attempting to violently overturn a free and fair election. These aren't policies fit for a democracy. These are the cornerstones of a fascist state. Here's the question to America. Is this the government you want? A white nationalist authoritarian regime that bends to the whims of Donald Trump? He's outright said he'll be a dictator. And you know why I wanted to be a dictator? Because I want a wall. Right? I want a wall, and I want to drill, drill, drill. Trump's daily deluge of dangerous authoritarian rhetoric should be disqualifying on its own. Yet we've become so numb to his outrageous and un-American behavior and actions that he has a very good chance of winning. We're not just talking about policy disagreements. We're talking about a leader of one of our major political parties, the presumptive nominee, who is openly telling us he intends to rule as a fascist strongman. This is not okay, this is not normal. This is a race between authoritarianism and democracy, between normalcy and insanity, between life and death for many, many people. And let's not forget the staggering litany of legal charges against him, ranging from theft of nuclear secrets to inciting insurrection to credible accusations of sexual misconduct. Each of these points alone should be enough for disqualification, for a unanimous outcry for accountability. And yet we hear silence from too many corners of this country, especially among Republicans. This is a silence that is complicit and that enables the erosion of our democratic foundations. So I'm calling on you, our listeners, to raise your voices. It's up to us to keep these issues at the forefront, to ensure that this steady stream of MAGA horribleness and fascism doesn't become a normalized backdrop to American life. At Politics Code Blue, we will discuss the hard questions and demand answers because this isn't just politics as usual. This is about the survival of our nation and its people. Stay tuned, stay engaged, and stay ready to fight for the soul of America. Make sure you register, volunteer, donate, and vote. We'll keep reminding you to do this throughout this episode and beyond. Go to politicscodeblue.com for more and stay tuned.